All right, just a little quick tip here in Anime Studio Debut. This is version 8.2, and I'm pretty sure about that. Uh, 8.1, okay, it's 8.1. Um, I wanted to be able to rotate a shape, and uh, I wasn't able to do that. This is what happened when I tried to rotate a shape. Okay, let's check off uh, autofill here. I'm sure, I can show you. All right, I wanted to be able to rotate this baby, and uh, I'm at uh, frame one. Okay, I thought I would go to frame sixty go up here to uh, rotate points and just rotate it um, select them all first just uh, rotate it 360 degrees and I would have a rotating wheel but when I played it I got this okay so what I think I, the what's happening is the uh, vertices here the little uh, points I don't know what they call them in anime studio but in Blender, they call them vertices, but uh, in Anime Studio, they I think they just take the nearest, shortest route to get where they're going. So to better show you what's not uh, what's not happening, let's just rotate it 180 degrees. So let's go back to frame one. Let's go again to frame 60, and let's rotate it 60 uh, 180 degrees. And this will show you what I'm talking about. All right, see how it just kind of shrinks and then grows. That's not what I was wanting, what I was expecting. So anyway, here's a short tip on how to get that effect to not do that, to have it actually rotate. Um, let's start with a new one. That'll be the quickest way. And let's uh, make our circle again our wheel. It's not a circle, it's a wheel. And here we go. There's our wheel. Alright, so let's add a bone layer over here. Add a bone layer. Let's call that rotating wheel. And let's take this layer, this vector layer that is that contains this drawing. We'll take that layer and pull it up and drop it onto rotating wheel bone layer. Now see how it's all kind of red? That means it's on it, and when you drop it, it's going to go in it. If you drop it up here, it's going to go above it, and down here is below. We want it to actually go on the bone layer. So drop it. It's now on the bone layer. Click the bone layer. Select the bone layer, because now we're going to add a bone, and you want to add a bone on the bone layer. Over here, the little bone with a plus is add a bone. So we're going to add a bone. Let's try to pick the center. you got to kind of eyeball it here. There's no uh, figures or grid on on debut. <coughs> Excuse me. So anyway, let's do that. And now, let's. Uh, if you translate the bone or manip manipulate it, excuse me, Z, you will see that it rotates. So now, when we animate that, we're still having the bone layer uh, highlighted. Let's go to frame 60 and let's uh, still having the translate selected. Let's rotate that 180, 360 degrees. And now when you play it, it actually rotates. What it's doing is the bone layer with one bone is actually rotating the entire layer. So if you go to this layer and you put something else on there, like uh, I want to do. Um, and I don't see how to do that right now. Hmm. Very strange. Okay, anyway, if I had another object on that layer, it would <clears throat> rotate that around as well. Let me just show you real quick. 
Okay, again, our inside circle, holding shift to make it perfectly round. Let's do another one. Let's paint it. Okay, and let's also get a star over here. Okay, and let's paint that. Let's paint it something bizarre as well. All right, now we go and we add our bone layer. And we take that layer, drop it up on the bone layer, select the bone layer, add a bone to our wheel, and go to frame 60, select the uh, manipulate bones, and rotate that 360 degrees. You're going to see that the entire layer rotates. So if you just want an object to rotate, just leave that one object on a layer in under the uh, the bone layer. Here's another quick tip for you. If you want to play just a section of the timeline, um, I think on the Windows it's Control, on the Mac it's Command. Hold that button in, left click on the point you want to start, and right, keeping it down, right click on the place you want it to stop. The, uh, loop just to look at something. So you got the green and you got the red. There's a left click, control click or command click, and right control click or command cl tr uh, click. And now when you start from the beginning it will just continually loop that section. So there's an extra little tip with the main tip, how to rotate an object, which in fact you're actually rotating the layer. That's it. Thank you and goodbye.